you may pause in your research. Just pause, 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 because we've got to introduce ourselves, haven't we? Yeah. So, um, good evening, everybody. Good evening. We are work. Work, 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 work. And work stands for... Washing Up Research Project. <laughs> Washing Up Revolutionary Party. Right. Um, Wrigley Worm Under Red Pants. Richard, oh. Richard, <laughs> we've spoken to you before about taking the research seriously, haven't we? Yes, ma'am. And are you going to take it seriously from now on? Okay, thank you. It's good to, we need to be disciplined. Yeah, discipline in work. So, um, you may be sat there thinking, what a strange and pointless thing to research the washing up is. Hmm? Yeah, but, but the thing is, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's quite a lot of terrible things going on in the world at the moment. I don't even want to mention what they are, because we'll just all get upset and angry and confused. And the thing is, opinions get so polarised, it can be really scary to even have an opinion and express it sometimes. So, bear with me, bear with me. William Blake said, Imagine that we could imagine the whole of the universe in a grain of sand. That's what we want to do with the washing up. We want to see if we can understand the whole mass of human behaviour, relationships, politics, through the washing up. So what might it mean, the man we met who refused to get a dishwasher, because the only time he had conversations with his teenage children was when they were at the sink together. What might that mean? And what might it mean the woman we spoke to, who every day has a different tea towel <coughs> hung over her oven to reflect her mood. And if it's a red one, everyone knows not to go in there because she's angry. <laughs> so, the thing is, the washing up is something that brings us all together. We all do it, some more than others. Mm -hmm. And what if, through understanding the washing up, we could build a community that connects with compa compassion <coughs> and we could change the world! Yes! Yes. So we've been doing some research and I am the chief worker, but I'm not the only worker. And people come to work for different reasons, don't they, Julio? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, my research is showing that by doing a small action of the washing up every day, it can connect you to an epic, cosmic cycle of life, which triggers a sense of belonging mm -hmm. and well-being. Mm -hmm. So I am proposing that we encourage the washing up. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. I knew you're not, you're, you're not, you don't come from that sort of thought at all, do you? No, <coughs> absolutely not. Opposite, actually. You say about connectivity, I feel disconnected. I feel like the washing up is an absolute waste of our time as human beings. And through this research, I had to obliterate it completely and free us from this evil once and for all. Yes. Yeah. Now, my research has mainly been around tea towels. I'm an expert in the field. Um, and I've got a little demonstration of my research here tonight. So, Susie, where are you? Could you hold your tea towel up for us, please? There she is. There she is. There's the tea towel. Now this is, can you hold it a little bit just so everybody can see it there? Now the thing about this tea towel is, it's clean. And do you know why it's clean? It's because one of the things we found is that quite often people have tea towels that live in drawers and they never ever get used. Or just decorative, that's right isn't it? It's very, very clean. Yeah, yeah, a decorative towel on, on one of the, uh, the hooks in the kitchen that we never quite get to near the washing But it's always there. Okay, so, just like the washing up. Just like the washing up. So, we haven't been just in London, we've been on a northern tour. And we have some interesting findings, before we get to your washing habits, we have some interesting findings from up north, don't we, Julia? What have you found out about up north? Well, the workers went out and passed some stories on to me, and they found that um, people up north, they like whipping with each other. With <laughs> tea towels. <laughs> now, there's lots of lovely stories about siblings flicking each other, but then there was this one man called Dave. And he, Dave, yes, um, I'm a bit disturbed. 
Dave um, used to soak his tea towels in water, put them in the freezer, and then he would get one out to attack his housemate. Assault. Genius! <laughs> Please don't try that at home, we don't want to be sued. And no, you found out some other things, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, in line with my sort of thinking. Let's have a look here. Sophia has ended relationships, plural, over the washing up. She will not be the last. Now Debbie, Debbie's amazing, Debbie hates the washing up with a passion and she can't really even think about it. Since that time when she was having an argument, she was washing up with her mum and they got into an argument about Debbie not being allowed to go to the under 18 school disco and she ended up hitting her mum over the head with a frying pan and nearly killing her. Ooh. Great wars have been won and lost, the battleground of the kitchen sink, just remember Ooh. that. <laughs> yes, food for thought there I think. Oh, but now. Camden, we want to find out about your washing up habit. We wanted to have a clapometer, but funding wouldn't allow. Uh, funding wouldn't allow. So we've got a cheerometer, and that's you. So um, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to cheer if you agree. So could you cheer now if you love the washing up? Yay! Liars. And could you cheer now if you hate the washing up? Yay! I feel fairly even a bit more towards hate. Okay, I'm back to my favourite subject, tea towels. Julian New, could you display your tea towels? <laughs> Please cheer if your tea towels look more like this. Yay! And cheer now if they look more like this. Yay! Now, I feel like they were slightly less like that, but they were prouder. They are honest. <laughs> okay. And now, cheer now if you do most of the washing up in your house. Yay! Everybody does most of the washing up in their house, and I don't know if that's actually possible. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us in our research. Workers, I'm going to leave you to your research. You may now continue. Let's 
life teaspoon from your earliest congregations whereupon you first worshipped me were always by bodies of water. Your communities were built around the accessibility of water, not just for drinking, but for cooking and cleaning the utensils with which you eat. I am omnipresent. I exist even when you believe I don't. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the draining board to your desperation and degeneration. I am the sponge to your suppurating sores and disease. You spill your guts into my washing bowl, yet still you demand an empty vessel in which to wash. So I say to thee, take then the marigolds of questionable morality and wash on. Wash on. And when you have washed all your dishes, your pots and your pans, you may think you are done. But I am always waiting, right there, in the hunger of your belly, until your next meal, or innocent cup of tea. Always waiting, always listening, never ending. So keep raising those teeth. An exhortation. May your water be warm and soapy and your eating be clean. Eating to be clean. with a teaspoon followed by a teacup and then a cereal bowl and then another cereal bowl suddenly it's lunchtime you think super D divine you leave a pan behind you leave a bowl behind you leave a spoon behind two spoons one from the it's stacking up, the washing up, so who's gonna do it? You, you. Will it be you? You, you. Who's gonna do it? You, you. Will it be you? You, you. You say it's my turn, Ooh. but when are you gonna learn? Oh, 
world. Oh, there's no point in being optimistic. No one's ever coming. Oh, they're just going to leave us in this bowl, this freezing cold. They might come for you. A serving spoon, a ladle, and... What are you? Uh, a tablespoon. Oh, right, I didn't recognise you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good old fashioned debate. So join me in God's Question Time! 
gentlemen, I think we need to get serious. I think we need a common sense approach here. It's quite obvious that when you've got your cup of tea, you've drunk half of it, the rest has gone cold, you need somewhere to pour it if you have a bowl. Oh, that's the side! Oh, yeah. You keep the water clean! Use a bowl! Keep your water Just clean! Keep your bowl! Sinks, the original and the best. Balls are unnecessary. And in our research, we have discovered unhygienic. There is as many germs in a bowl as in a men's urinal in a public loop. According to the head of nursing in Kingston University. You don't have to take my word for it. The truth is, sink or swim. Sink or swim! Sink or swim! Sink or swim! Sink to the little, yeah, draining bit in the middle. Go fast for a second. That says it all. I'm not sinking to your level. Hear me out. Hear me out. Sink requires plumbing. So not everybody in the world has a sink. So you know it's like a bit down to equal opportunities. This is you. Bowls for everybody. Politics of the space. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. the bowls are really tiny, really can't get very much in them. Look at this nice and big. You get loads in here. Yeah. Bigger is better. 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 Gosh, you make me laugh. Bigger is better, eh? It's a shame that you would be bigger. Anyway, I believe that you have the bowl in the sink because the bowl doesn't take as much room as the sink therefore it saves water. Bowls save water. Bowls save water! Bowls save water! Bowls save water! What are most bowls made of? Plastic! A Russian of full of Get real stainless steel. Get real stainless steel. Yes. Anna, let's sort this out. Anna, can you reach the second? No. So, what do you need? A bowl. Oh, exactly. Uh, like this. Yep. So it could be silicon, couldn't it? But anyway, uh, yeah. if it comes down on a table or on your lap, can you do the washing up? Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Anna, yeah. when you finish with the water, you've got water, you little tomato plants in the
Sangha. Oh. Sangha. Just fill the sink with the hot water and soap and he shoves all the grease And I'll do the But he never doesn't There's always fishes but he never doesn't At all There's fishes But he never doesn't There's always fishes but he never doesn't At all So maybe he's the one When I wipe something down, the only thing I'm sure of is the king with a crown of never doing dishes. Though they're always piling up, he never does the dishes. Whisk spoons, 
graters, pots and pans, they covered every kitchen surface. And every new delicious meal she created made more and more washing up. Each room, each jus, stock, gravy, marmalade she lovingly crafted needed new utensils. And extra gadgets were purchased and added to that mountain of washing up. Mountain of dishes found in their kitchen on a Thursday afternoon. And the first few times she was so excited about trying out the new recipe she'd been salivating about. But he is the kind of man who likes what he likes. Just like he knows what he knows. And he didn't much like the moussaka she made from scratch. Because he thought it was going to have meat in it. She, on the other hand, she loved the moussaka and the baba ganoush, but she hated the washing up. Now, love is a strange thing. There is no rhyme, no reason, no logic. But so is hate. And she hated the washing up. Let me reiterate. She hated the washing up. It became apparent he was happy to try these foods from around the world that she'd spent the best part of the day sourcing and preparing. And he was even happy to complain from time to time but by Friday morning, it was clear that one thing he was not happy to do was the washing up. And so, war ensued. First, it was a cold war. Sideways glances. Passive, aggressive mentions of, I did cook. Counted by, I go to work all day. But she decided she would stand against all this patriarchal bullshit she despised by resistance. She would not wash up. She would not cave in. So that was the last Thursday she ever cooked. And the washing up was left untouched in the kitchen until Sunday. And they both ignored it, never speaking on it, until finally he said, You'll strike. <laughs> She pretended to be engrossed in what they were watching. She was ignoring his question. Because she knew if she responded, she would take his blinking head off. <laughs> and in the days surrounding the washing up showdown, her resentment built in every clean teacup she saw him use. And she didn't say a word. It was the sound of silence. She was testing him to see how long it take him to realise this was his kitchen too, and also therefore his responsibility. And she'd been on a low simmer for days, confounded by the fact he hadn't done any washing up at all, but he'd just turned it up to the boil by saying something so stupid as, Are you on strike?
was growing up, my dad done the washing up. And I assumed that any partner of mine was going to be doing the washing up. So far, so good. <laughs> when I lived with Sam, I did all the washing up. I was happy to. Kitchen was my domain and woe betide anybody who tried to help. You're so good at it. Huh. <laughs> we always had a dishwasher for as far back as I can remember. That's why when I was a kid, I just loved doing proper washing up with my grannies. Now, my dad considered himself a master load of the dishwasher. He reckoned he'd get everything in when everyone else failed. <laughs> now, I don't think that's a particularly masculine skill. Do you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm certainly not the master load in my own house now. I'll tell you what, you would not have wanted to do the washing up at my grandmother's house. Back in the day in Morocco, she didn't have running water, so you had to go and get, carry the water back. And water is really heavy, so that's why I don't like washing up. Probably. <laughs> I yeah, that. yeah. My mum was a 50s bride and a 50s housewife, this is her penny. And uh, there were four of us under the age of six, and my dad was away at sea, so mum did absolutely everything, just everything. But as I grew up, I enjoyed learning from her. I learned to cook from her, I learned to wash up as I went along, and I loved it. I loved being in the kitchen. And uh, that just has not continued with my daughter. She does not step inside the kitchen with me. <laughs> I've done something wrong, haven't I? <laughs> anyway. I wish I could do the washing up with my mum. I used to like it when we'd do all the baking and then we'd get together and do the washing up and chat and blah. Uh, yeah, I miss it. They're the heart of our households, like the heart of the kitchen. And they're gone. And they're gone. Listen. I always struggled to do the washing up. Because when I was a kid, my parents used it as a form of punishment. I got into trouble when I was really small. I helped them with the dry up and I broke a small plate in Sonic Plate. I made a terrible fuss. I was really scared. But I'm not afraid to do the washing up anymore. Anyway. For me, the thing was safe place. Whenever I feel depressed, I'm going to do washing up. I used to get washed in the sink. Ladies and gentlemen, I love how the washing up triggers so many different memories and opinions. It brings everyone together. So I'd like you all to praise me with a song! Yes. Hang on a minute! Hang on a minute! Hang on a minute. Who is this one? Security! Hang Security! Hang um, who are you? I'm God. Okay, well, just, just, this is a sort of a side issue, but if you were a deity, would you really need to call for security to get rid of me? But we won't go there for now. Um, the thing is, um, can I just have a moment? Yes. Okay. Well, take a moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure, like me, you've been enjoying the research. Yeah. Yeah. The stories. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. songs. I think that all yeah. counts as research. Mm -hmm. But this supernatural nonsense, it's not really oh. research, is it? It's not really research. Oh. Help us. Well, and frankly, I don't believe in you. Oh. 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 You don't have oh. to believe in me, but I exist regardless. Yeah. But I don't believe in you. Just join in with the song. People, yes. come on, yes. get her involved. Yes. Come on, join in. 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 Come on, join in
actually, I think it's a bit unfair, really. Oh. <sighs> yeah, just let that sink in. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, actually, the water is cold again. I think the boiler's broken. The water's cold again.